Welcome back, Wampers. Here we are with another episode of Ocarina of Time 3DS 3 Hard Run. Last time we got halfway through the water temple and we got ourselves a hook shot. So what do you say we get the heck on out of here? Oh look, this game has such a wonderful place in my heart. And uh, not this particular version, but I do enjoy the remake. Uh, mainly because of things like that. Like, seriously, did you see that? That that was awesome right there. All right, so looks like we need to... Listen, be careful. Don't get swallowed by the vortexes. <gasps> oh, Navi. Oh, Navi. Oh, we could use that fairy. Yeah. All right, so we're going to... Do this. And a key we get. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to remember where do we go from here. We have a key. Where do we need a key at? We have the long shot now, so we can do the mid-level stuff here and get that as well. You know what? Is there anything else we can do here? Whoa, that was a nice chop there. The nice chop. I do know we can hook shot over there, but we don't quite have the boss key yet. All right, hold on. Let me let me think about this real quick and I'll see you in a second. All right, so now that we have this, these nerds are gonna flop down at us, try to attack us, because we need to get one more key. All right, guys, come on down. Yeah, there you are. All right, so you got to be quick with this one. I, I don't know if they changed the timer, but I do know on the N64 one, it was relatively fast. Oh, yeah. They slowed it down. Of course they did. All right, so you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck's going on here? I love that. So satisfying. So satisfying to do that. And this is our last key we need in these floors here. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep pressing B. I guess I've been playing uh, uh, Skyrim and Dark Souls too much. So your action button's a little different in those games. A lot of people tend to go straight to the other room that we need to go to, but I like to do it this way because then uh, once we get out of that room with the boss key, we can just proceed right to the boss. Uh, now that we have the water here, there's one room up north we didn't go to, if you have been paying attention. It's this room right here. And now that we have the long shot, we can do it. You can totally tell I used to play this on the N64 because you'll notice me leaving my boots on when I don't need them on, like right there. All right, so this room's gonna lead us to the boss, the boss key, I think, if I'm remembering right. Yes, oh my word. I remember this room. Uh, best strategy for this is to... Now, I do have arrows that I could shoot at them. These have to be a little different when you are dealing with, um... Like, normally I would just tank this hit. And, uh... Um, holy. They drop some arrows. Yes! Don't you dare. What? All right, now that that's done, let's swim over. All right. This room here. Oh, man. All right, see if I can get these guys without L targeting. Target, but they're kind of weird. Your stat strategy. Tank a hit or two. There we are. All right. So they're all done there. So while that's blowing up, we're going to jump over. Yeah. You did a good job. You might be uh, asking yourself, why the heck are you doing this? And mainly it's because I absolutely love this game. I haven't played it in a couple years. And uh, three heart runs on it are fantastic in my opinion. I believe anybody can do them. Like I've said several times in this so far. And I believe if you just, like I said, if you just adjust your strategies, anybody can do this. 
Uh, this isn't a super hard game. Um, especially, like, you know, people do crazier things like no healing items and stuff like that. Or literally, you know, deathless runs. But, uh, in the spirit of making the game a little more challenging, you can do this and it doesn't take all the fun out of it. Because, you know, you're not getting everything in the game. Um... That was a close one. What? The door closed. All right, so now we got two more of these guys, and we don't have any, none, zero, near Tay. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Come on, buddy. We're going to coax him off the edge here. All right, so this one's going to be a little challenging because of the platforming in this game. And you can make that right off that second platform. It is kind of difficult. You can make it. All right, don't do what I did and not... I just went down and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. It's like, really? And this is where having both the keys, because I've also did this where I didn't have both the keys and I got all the way here. And I was like, oh no. Husky! All right, so guys, this is why I do this. This is why I went up there and did this first, because if you hadn't went and did this, you'd be waiting. You'd have to go back through and do that already, but because we've already got the boss key, it's like bada bing, bada boom, here we are. Already out on this platform. We're gonna shoot this thing, and we're gonna go right into the final room here. Oh, come on, buddy. Get in, me. Get in my belly, thank you. Right, we already have enough fairies. They are being more than generous, which should scare the crap out of you. It should. All right, this one here. All right. Now, let's see if I can remember how to do this without getting hit. Oh, there we go. Whew. Whew. Uh. All right, guys, here we are. This is the boss room. You guys ready for this? I know I am. Out the water isn't normal over there. Thanks, Navi. Thanks. It is amazing the people I've seen do this for speedruns. It is amazing how they do it. Like, seriously, amazing. We're going to be doing a more balanced. Uh, approach as far as uh, the way things go and our tactics. So. Giant aquatic amoeba Morpha. I love that it passes right through us like that. Alright. If you've never played this before, that little guy is controlling the water. Those arms will grab you. Ah, oh, boo hockey, boo hockey, boo hockey. Oh, what? Oh, two in the same area. Interesting. Interesting strategy, here. buddy. Interesting strategy, but not good enough. Not good enough. Now, there are ways to do that faster, as you saw at the first part there, when I um, was able to grab him multiple times. If you're fast enough and you can grab him in places like that, you can totally destroy this thing within seconds of starting the battle. It is absolutely bonkers the level people have been able to figure out this game and I absolutely love it. This was a fantastic battle. I love it. It is great. Even with a three heart run, you have to adjust your things accordingly. But let's not jump down and get that heart. We want to leave that heart here for future links to get it. Because we're not getting that heart. And now we're going to get an epic cutscene right here.
think I would have expected no less from a man I chose to be my husband. Zero's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant you my eternal love. Well, that's what I wanted to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. You have to guard the water temple. I have to guard the water temple as a sage of water. And you? You're searching for Princess Zelda. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Receive the water medallion. Ruto awakened as a sage and adds her power to yours. If you seek Sheik, please give him my thanks. Okay? And with that, the water returns to the lake. As the water rises, evil vanishing from the lake, Link. You did it. Ha! Huh? I love that face. That face is fantastic. Ruto. Wanted you wanted to thank me? I see. Yep, we have to return peace to Hyrule. For her sake too, don't we? that link together you and princess ruto destroyed the evil monster once again the lake is filled with pure water beautiful scenery here beautiful scenery Slowly back away. And... Oh! Man, he's fast. Into the water! And disappears! How, you might say. How. Magic, that's how. I was hoping we'd get some arrows, but we did not, unfortunately. So that's going to be it for this episode because if we had some arrows, we could have shot the sun there and got a uh, power up, but we will save that for another time. All right, guys, thank you so much for um, hanging out here today and thank you so much for everything you guys did. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Hot Run. Bye.